This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 58. So we can use x sub 0, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, and x sub 5 to represent the values of x when the interval is broken into five equal pieces. So if the interval 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 4, 1 is less than or equal to x, it's less than or equal to 4, is divided into five equal pieces, x sub 0 is equal to 1 and x sub 5 is equal to 4. Find x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, and x sub 4. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this interval. So here along our number line, we have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Dot, 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 right? We're going to call this an x-axis because we're looking at x is between 1 and 4. So we're going to look between here and here, right? So we know we have 1, 2, 3 units, right? There's 3 units between 1 and 4. And we're going to call, <coughs> we're going to call the first x sub 0 equal to 1. So let's go ahead and write this. This right here is x sub 0, and x sub 5 is 4. So this is x sub 5. Okay, so we want to basically find where are x sub 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and I'm saying x sub n or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can pronounce this as x sub 0. Or sometimes people just call it x0, okay? And then x1, x2, x3, and x4. So let's go ahead and continue on. So <clears throat> this is my interval right here. And I want to break it up into five equal pieces, right? Um, and I have um, these regions defined, right? So let's go ahead and look at what that's going to be. We want to break, how long is this right here? From 1 to 4 is 3 units. So this is basically a ratio problem or a fraction problem. We have 3 units. We want to divide that into 5 pieces. Right? So go ahead and use your calculator. 3 divided by 5. Right? That is just 0.6, right? So we can go ahead and put in our calculator. 3 divided by 5 is 0.6, okay? 0 0.6. And this ratio is units per piece. So unit per piece, right? So each piece is going to be 0 0.6 units long, right? You could say it like that. So along here, the first... 1 is going to be 0 0.6, right? So this is distance between here and here is 0 0.6, and we're going to call that x1 or x sub 1. We're going to add another 0 0.6, right? And that's going to be x sub 2. <coughs> Oops, I'm going to draw it right here. Let's draw a little to the left, right? x sub 2, and that's another 0 0.6. And x sub 3 is going to be right here. x sub 4. And x sub 5. Right? And each increment is adding 0.6. So if x sub 0 is 1, x sub 1 is 1 plus 0.6, right? Which is 1.6. x sub 2 is, well, the one before it, plus 0.6, which is 2.2 x sub 3 or x3 is 2.2 plus 0 0.6 which is 2.8 x sub 4 let me scroll down x sub 4 is just 2.8 plus 0 0.6 we're adding 0 0.6 each time to make sure the width of each unit is going to be the same it's 3.4 and x sub 5 which we know should be 4 is equal to 3.6 plus 0 I mean 3.4 plus 0 0.6, which is 4, and so this is all 
correct, making each piece 0 0.6 units in length. Okay, so these are how we're going to label these <coughs> to make them equal in length. All right. And again, we can say all these as x sub 0, x sub 1, and so on, or just x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4, and x 5. All right. So this ends CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 58.